Okay. This is going to be how to play um, Infernal Contraction part of the, the review. Now what you're going to have is you're all going to start out with the uh, power right here. This power core. And the little markings out here are the, the connectors on the thing. For all purposes, it starts in the main line. It starts in a horizontal position. All cards got to be in a horizontal position and form the main line. Plugs go vertical. Next in line, you have the power sources, which there are different colors, and the outlets of the. These are the kind of connectors it can connect to. So this green one can connect to <clears throat> any a universal one or another green one. Then you have the blue bordered right here which is the, the actual contraptions and they can go as a plug or go on the main line. But in order for them to run you need a power source. So for all purposes you could probably you could connect this and then you activate the machine and your opponent scraps the card from his hand. That, from what that card says. So and then you have the <clears throat> green borders which are upgrades these don't need power but you put them up, you can um, connect them to your machine to actually cause certain things to um, be enhanced like multipliers and stuff like that and then you got your consumables which are one and done cards once they're meet the requirements and then they're, they're and they're, they're used they're gone from your machine so the way the game works, now that you have an understanding of this thing, is this goes in the main line, in the middle, the board. And your player, as a player, you're going to draw up seven cards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven cards. And uh, <clears throat> on the main line, you could put it on the left or the right. So this one's going to go here, and it's got a power unit. Now I can play only one card per turn for free. I can choose to discard a card, um, like, and put it in a scrap pile in the middle of the board somewhere, and play something else. So I could play that. And then at the end of my turn, I hit, I choose a target and I hit the start button on the thing, and it would and you'd read from left to right, up and down. So you go to this card. There's something above it. I would go to that, that, and then that, and you go into your machine is completely done. This one says your opponent scraps a card from his hand. So at the end of the turn, after I run the machine, I draw back up to seven cards. Six, seven. Now, at, now only at the end of the turn you draw cards. If I have at least one card in my hand, you do not draw any cards during the draw phase. The draw phase is only when you're completely empty. You only get to draw at the end of your turn. And you can have up to ten cards in your hand. Anything other than that, you, you have to discard them. And the whole purpose of the game is to build your machine so that... Uh, you um, can make your opponent lose their cards, because basically you're going to get you each are going to get all the cards among all the players divide equally. And as soon as you're out of cards, one person's out of cards, the game is they're they're out of the game, and it goes until everyone until there's only one winner. So uh, the game could be really short or it could be really long. It all depends on now. Uh, now I got the expansion and they got these red cards. And these red cards are uh, cards that you play on your opponent's machines. So, and basically that causes them to ruin their machine. So, but that's pretty much how you play the game. You basically will play one card on your machine. Uh, so, if I was to Play here. 
I could connect this upgrade to there as a plug, and I could have <clears throat> something up here. I have one up here, one on top, one on the bottom. But you can't put anything connects. Nothing connects to the plug, so I can't play a card like this. I could play it like this. You can't play um, cards like this as a. So this couldn't go like this. Even if I know they don't match, but if they did match, they couldn't go like this. They can only go like this, and on the main line, they can only connect like that. So there's restrictions on how your cards connect. So, but it's a really good strategy game. Like it really limits your, um, makes you really think about what pieces you're gonna play next. So, yep. So this is for all safety purposes. Is a legal machine. How you play uh, Infernal Contraption in a nutshell. Really simple game to play. Really strategic. I think I cut down less time than that.